All right, so today I just want to make a video uh, going over all the new cosmetics you can earn in Season 13, because there's a lot of them if you haven't noticed already. First things first is the kind of highlights for me personally for the Plunder Pass is, or even just the, the Free Season Pass. So we got the, the Tankard at 20 and the, the Bucket Hat at 60. Of Shelly at level 70, that's, uh, I like this one a lot. I'm going to kind of just go down all the different commendations, which ones unlock cosmetics basically. So you've got the, the sell 30 orbs of secrets, you've got the cracked orb lantern. Contested constellations, you have to do 50 of these totals just doing skeleton camp, uh, just normally, not as a running blade or anything like that. That's how you get the obsidian bone crusher clothes. You got the belt, boots, dress, gloves, hat, jacket, the pants. So that's the obsidian bone crusher clothing set. This one you can dive to. You can't dive to a skeleton camp to get an orb. You've got Sizzling Sinker. you got to sink 10 player control burning blades. It's pretty tough. The thing is, that thing is a tank. And if, if you got players on there that know to not let you kill their skeletons and that they need to bucket out the water because the skeletons can't, they are very hard to take down. But that's my big recommendation to take down the burning blade is get on there killed all those skeletons so they can't repair. Once you've killed all of their skeletons, then you try to put holes in their, you know, lower deck, just like a galleon. You got to get lowers on that thing to get water coming in. And then once you get some lowers in them after all the skeletons are killed, you're going to stop those players from being able to bucket that water out. Highly recommend getting a galleon crew together before you try to take down the burning blade when it's player controlled. Uh, so get in that, get that official discord. Get a galleon crew together and go hunt down those player controlled burning blades. It's a sizzling sinker. That's what you do to get the obsidian bone crusher ship set. A wheel. Capstan. Cannons are unfortunately pretty bulky and not really usable in my opinion. And figurehead is pretty cool. And the way you can tell that it's crewed by players and not AI controlled is it'll have a reaper flag up on that big burning blade that's on the map. Um, if it's AI controlled, it'll just show the big burning blade ship on the map. You'll see an orange beacon in, on the horizon, but it won't have a reaper's uh, emissary up. It gets raised by default when, when it gets uh, controlled by players. And you take control of it, but you go and you sink it as an AI controlled one, and a majority of your crew has to board it, vote to pledge yourself to it, and it'll automatically repair the ship, Raise Reaper and your ship will sink. So there's a title, Crew of the Burning Blade, for just pledging yourself five times uh, to the Burning Blade. Hot Shot, I like this title. You have to hit uh, an Ashen Roar on another crew ship three times. This might work on skeleton ships like it does, like with the Wraith Ball combination, but I'm not, I haven't tested that out to be honest. Uh, feeding the Fire, the Four Shriek on the Burning Blade 10 different times. So Feeding the Fire gets you the Burning Blade uh, Reborn ships that. So it's, it's all the pieces that are actually on the burning blade. The, the wheel, cannons, capstan, visible barrier on your bowsprit on a galleon. I don't know if that's true on the other boats. That's interesting. I'm a fan of that. It looks pretty cool. We've got bare bones, pleading the ritual ten times while on the burning blade while wearing your skeleton curse. And you've got the gold trim upper body, which is level 255 in Servants of the Flame, you know, through hourglass. And then the leather upper body, which is level 300. So this combination is a tough one, Envious Envoys. So this is when you're on the Burning Blade, you have to wear your Skeleton Curse and kill 25 players that have Athena Emissary up. When you're going and trying to defeat the Burning Blade when it's player controlled, you want to have Athena up. So whenever I've been just hopping servers looking for Burning Blades, I just raise Athena, even if it's AI controlled, because it might be taken over by players on your way over there. The other thing is just, if you have your Skeleton Curse from Hourglass, just keep it on at all times. You got Flaming Foes. So this is how you unlock the new Skeleton Curse uh, heads. So you have to set another player on fire with the Obsidian Ash and Wind Skull, which is the new Ash and Wind Skull down on the bottom of the Burning Blade. 50 times, and it does count on your own crewmates, the Obsidian Captain's Skull. This one, you also have to be level 310 in Servants. You got the Arrow Pierce Skull, you got Arrow sticking out of your head. 225 in Servants. Obsidian Branded Skull, level 205 in Servants. The Shattered Mask, which is level 270 in Servants. Along with getting that, and the 50 players on fire with the Obsidian Ashwind Skull. 
And then you got ritual recovery. This is also another tough one. So you have to steal an orb of secrets while you're on the burning blade. So what I what I would recommend to get this one done is while you're on the burning blade, do your rituals as you go around the map, uh, doing skeleton camps on it. Get grade five reaper. And then after you get grade five reaper, keep an eye on the different skeleton camps around the map. And if you see an emissary at one, you probably want to go check them out because they might be doing a skeleton camp to get orbs. And if you can steal that and then sell that to reapers, but you just need one, but kind of a specific scenario. It doesn't count if you're not on the burning blade. This is the mask you get for selling a stolen orb. All right, then we've got playing the part. This is also another bit of a tough accommodation to get. It's a little bit of a grind is you have to have the burning blade get an eight streak on it do di eight different skeleton camps while wearing the skeleton curse you got to turn that streak in at reapers and you got to do that 10 times so one kind of trick to that is when you complete your ritual you can count down with your crewmates and all vote on the ritual at the same time and it will count all of the votes if they're done simultaneously so playing the part gets you the uh the obsidian bones very uh dark color for the the skeleton curse fun fact uh, all of the skeletons on the burning blade w are wearing the skeleton cosmetics that have come out this season uh, you can role play your heart out and if you wear just like your obsidian bones the new skeleton curse cosmetics that have come out this season you can make yourself basically look just like the skeletons, the only way to tell you apart is that your name and obviously like how you move, jumping around and stuff like that. So you can have some fun with role playing as a skeleton to kind of blend in and be just that much harder to be spotted as a player on the Burning Blade if you're trying to take it over if, or if you're trying to take it down. Then we've got all the constellation combinations. So you just got to go around to all of the different six skeleton camps around the map. So it just tells you which ones they are. Laguna Whispers, Pickering Palms, Lookout Point, Barnacle K, Blind Man's Lagoon, Shiver Retreat. A Blind Man's Lagoon is also has an extra combination there for Lost Legend. And there's a skeleton in the vault of Blind Man's Lagoon. And that gets you a trinket. Lost Legend combination trinket of Louise. So when you get Astro Protection done, all six skeleton camps doing the constellations for those. You get the uh, the Ancient Skies tattoo, so I, I I really like this tattoo. An arm sleeve of the constellations, and it completely blacks out your arms, and it's on your legs as well. The next combination is Starry Secrets. When you're down in, in the skeleton camp, you have your main three constellations to get up front, but then there's four constellations on the sides, so you just have to do those extra constellations 20 times to get this combination done. As far as I know, Starry Secrets, and I don't think there's any cosmetics attached to it. Uh, same with Fiery Diary, I think it's just a combination. Just read Captain's Log in the Captain's Quarters of the Burning Blade. Trip and Freedom. So there's a note in all six of the skeleton camps somewhere down in the puzzle area. I definitely recommend just looking at the Rare Thief video for those ones to see all those uh, locations. So you've got this title, Defender of the Pirate's Life. So you got to do Sizzling Sinker and Secret of Stash. So Sizzling Sinker was sinking the Burning Blade 10 times while it's player controlled. But you have to be an Athena's Emissary for that one. And you also have to do Secret of Stash, which is selling 20 Blade of Souls, burning with three or more rituals. So what I've been doing with my crew is we raise Athena and then we go server hopping looking for... Player control burning blades with three or more rituals done so we can go and steal that sword and turn it in. So that's a pretty neat title. And then you've got Loyalist at the Flame, which is feeding the fire and playing the part. Both you gotta get both of those combinations done. And so feeding the fire is doing ten four streaks on the burning blade. Playing the part is doing ten eight streaks while wearing the skeleton curse. So mainly it's just you gotta get playing the part done, because you'll get feeding the fire done at the same time. And you can get Loyalist of the Flame as a title. So while you're on the Burning Blade, you got to kill uh, 25 Athena Emissary players. You have to hit those levels in Hourglass as well as get the combination done. So the Obsidian Captain's lower body, be level 330 in Servants. The Gold Trim lower body, you got to be 240 in Servants. And for the Leather lower body, you got to be level 285 in Servants. This is the Eye of the Forgotten Trinket. And this is earned from 
just turning in the burning blade at reapers class 30 in that milestone which is uh, about 2.3 million gold and then there's also this scourge of the seas trinket which you get from getting class 30 in uh, burning blades vanquished and that's just one per class just, you defeat 30 burning blades and you get the cherished version of this uh, painting here. Yeah, that's uh, all the new cosmetics that you can earn in Season 13. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Good luck out there hunting down the Burning Blade.